Hello and welcome to Digital Disruptors. I'm Gabriella Power. In this series, we'll celebrate the Australians who are changing the world one groundbreaking innovation at a time. ACS has been serving the needs of the information communications technology industry across Australia for over 50 years. ACS is the, uh, is the society which, is, which represents and, and includes in membership IT professionals from across Australia. We're very strongly in favour of professional standards, of course. Now, in terms of disruption, we ourselves have a mandate, uh, we call it a catalyst, to help out uh, and to try and expand the uh, ICT economy, the economy generally through ICT in Australia, but more importantly we have a mandate to help IT professionals become the best they can at, at, uh, at working in that economy. And one of the areas they can become the very best is in disruption, is in um, having the skills necessary to disrupt and, and having the backing. And, stuff. and why is it important that we recognise these tech disruptors? Look, I think um, my view is that uh, a lot of people uh, don't always place IT as, or ICT as one of the core sectors that um, the, the country has to offer. We hear about you know, mining, we hear about resources, we hear about tourism, but actually in Australia we have one of the most burgeoning ICT sectors, tech sectors and, and startup sectors. I think it's really important to recognise that we are leaders in that. In some parts uh, of, of, of the ecosystem, we're actually like the best in the world. And while the Digital Disruptor Awards recognise its companies and organisations, the ICT Professional Awards aim to celebrate those individuals who single-handedly promote and contribute to the tech industry. So that category is like the big time category, if you like. It's for people who have shown excellence in um, in the professions um, and so I, I know that um, we had quite a number of um, nominations this year and those people were phenomenal there were some incredible um, nominees because they're all really good but they were they showed tenacity enthusiasm uh, and a real pursuit for excellence in the technology space which is actually what this award is all about we're looking at ICT professionals, the heads of industry who've done great things, uh, role models for others. We're looking at, uh, at the young uh, ICT professionals, those who've, got, uh, who've done wonderful things at, at early careers. We like to map their journeys and they can inspire other young people to enter the, enter the profession. We're looking at organisations of government organisations, uh, not-for-profits, corporates, and looking at the importance of tech innovation and, and, uh, uh, and you know, use of AI and data in, in government in in, in delivery of services, in making companies competitive and really showcasing those who, who help, the consultants, the, the, uh, the tech startups and scale-ups, all those who sort of feed that ecosystem of, of success and capability. So who are some of those emerging ICT superstars? This upholding ethical standards is also a common objective of all the nominees. Uh, I'm Dr Mahendra Samaravikrama. I'm the manager of data science analytics in the Australian Red Cross. And what does it mean to be nominated for the ICT Professional of the Year Award? This uh, award uh, gives give us uh, awareness uh, that, uh, that communities will receive awareness and visibility of what we do to the uh, do towards humanity and social justice. So I think uh, this award will, will be really important for us to. Uh, execute our future strategies uh, by collaborating and partnering and enhancing volunteer capabilities and it will add a lot of value to our brand uh, and build trust and advocacy of the uh, society. Uh, I think in that all these aspects uh, and ACS is very recognized organizations having, a, uh, having this uh, unique two awards is really impressive. If I look at Dr Mahendra for instance, uh, he's actively involved in a sen and senior in uh, AI, so artificial intelligence and data science. So that's a real now kind of um, 
area, has very rich experience in that field, um, has worked with a wide range of people and cultures and technologies, as well as from the governance perspective. He's an author, an inventor, uh, mentor and regular speaker. So he was somebody who, to me, was leading some incredible strategies and including for the Australian Red Cross. Building capabilities for social justice and sustainability, diversity and equity inclusion is all part of the ICT landscape. Coming up, the everyday Australians who are changing the world in which we live through technology. Welcome back to Digital Disruptors. Now we'll take a look at the homegrown innovators, disruptors and tech superstars who are literally changing the world. What makes Australia the best in the world? Well, I think um, tech is so hot now and, and also the fact is that technology now supports a lot of the traditional industries. They really are changing the world by what they do. What they do is extraordinary. You know, they are working in the AI sector, they're working in spaces where, um, where, for instance, in the Red Cross and the AI area. AI is really interesting because even the United Nations has said this is a way that the, the sustainable development goals can be achieved by the use of data and AI. Charity is a very unique uh, business sector which focusing the sustainability and the humanity. Uh, and I wanted to do a real contributions to humanity by looking the data related to charity. And uh, AI is uh, identified a fundamental uh, capability that future sustainability. Uh, it says like 79% uh, of the United Nations sustainable goals can be achieved through AI. Now, now my interest is like uh, working with Red Cross is serving humanity and ex explore opportunities. Uh, driving future focus strategy in AI uh, innovations and uh, do the uh, relevant transformation that uh, future can flourish. So in that sense uh, I and my team really proud that uh, we deliver the uh, that value. We create uh, like genuine did a genuine contribution to the society uh, to towards sustainability and social justice. Uh, so at the same time uh, my team is really motivated these uh, awards because these are uh, really uh, uh, renowned awards in the industry. So what is the importance of receiving a Digital Disruptor nomination as an emerging or established ICT professional of the year? If the industry is, is really recognising those people, those organizations, those projects which are fantastic and which are merit the awards that we're talking about here in the Disruptor Awards, then that allows the whole industry to feel that they're, uh, that they're contributing to the economy in a way that I think otherwise isn't the case. It's an opportunity for the industry to stand up and say, look, our industry is really contributing to the disruption and the economy, contributing to the furtherance of the economy. The ACS uh, has been running these, these Digital Disruptors Awards for the last seven years and it's really all about showcasing excellence and, and brilliance, uh, uh, show, showing innovation, uh, bringing economic benefit, pros prosperity and enabling companies to do great things and also it's, it's about us supporting the tech sector and, uh, and, uh, and, and, um, and helping people you know, find each other. So it's, uh, it's, it's about that, it's celebrating what we do best uh, in Australia and, and supporting and encouraging. And why is it so important to support and encourage those Australians who are doing so well in the tech sector? So I think at the end of the day it's about us uh, doing better uh, in Australia in the tech economy. This is kind of critical now to our, our competitiveness internationally, to the, to the well-being of our businesses and lifestyles. We really have to be a successful tech economy. And Australia has been so-so. Uh, We've been an average performer across the, the uh, OECD, across our competitors, and we need to keep up. We need to keep ahead. And so there are, we need to do everything that we can to be, uh, to be a more successful nation in the innovation and in the tech, uh, the tech development and the uptake of technology across all industries. So that's what it's all about. We're here to celebrate, uh, to encourage, uh, to showcase and, uh, and to inspire. What's the most difficult part about being a judge? 
Oh, I think the, the most challenging part of probably being a judge is, is actually, well, one, it's, you know, having to be unfortunately a little bit um, tough on, on the applications and the applicants because it, it's such a rigorous process. I mean, we, we want to uh, weed out the best of the best. Yeah. And, and so I suppose the most tough is, is, I suppose, is the disappointment that some people may face by not becoming a finalist or, or not becoming, you know, a winner. Um, and yet, you know, they put a lot of effort into it. But it's a really competitive process. We, the, the standards, the criteria have to be upheld and, and we have a certain process. It is a challenge when you've got such really top quality applicants and you can't even decide. And, and you want to do it in the most objective way against the criteria and the quality that we set. Uh, in the ACS Disruptors Awards. These people are quite are outstanding. And to me, it's, it's so important to feel that your work has been recognised. Being recognised, some people say, oh, you know, I don't really need to be recognised, but my gosh, it makes a huge difference. And it also shows that those people can be fantastic role models for those aspiring coming along, the next, I don't want to say the next generation because it's not necessarily the next generation because some of these disrupt disruptors are very young folk and some of them are quite old. So, you know, we, we again, it's about the career trajectory, isn't it? It's, it's to me, I'm anti-ageist, so as far as I'm concerned, I don't care if you're an 18-year-old disruptor or an 80-year-old disruptor. But I think it's, um, that's one of the things that it's really important that we recognise, regardless of where you are on your career trajectory, if you have done anything excellent work. We should be recognising that excellent work, which will not only encourage you, but it will encourage all of those around you to take the next step. I'm just amazed at some of the work that people have done and continue to do. Some of them are real superheroes without wearing capes. That's all for this series of Digital Disruptors. We'll be celebrating the innovators and tech superstars with the 2022 ACS Digital Disruptors Awards. Thanks for your company.